OpenBubbles lets you access iMessages from literally any other operating system that is in iOS, and it looks exactly like iMessages as well. You don't need a Mac running at all times, but you will need a Mac one time during the setup, just to scan one QR code, but that's all. This is a fork of BlueBubbles, which is a similar application, but that requires a Mac to be running at all times to relay the messages, but with OpenBubbles, your device directly communicates with Apple, and it registers to your Apple ID as a MacBook using a real MacBook's hardware ID. Don't just share your MacBook's hardware ID with anybody, because that could lead to Apple flagging your Mac for suspicious activity. But if it's under 20 devices, it should be fine according to the OpenBubbles developers. With OpenBubbles, you can access the Find My app, and you can also play most of the popular Game Pigeon games as well. FaceTime functionality is technically there, but it is very glitchy. I think it's in beta. So if this works for you, please leave a like and subscribe, and let's set this up. This is a different type of video that I'd usually make, but I needed to make this since iMessages is one of the biggest reasons people don't want to switch from Apple. And if your friends are actually judging you just because of green bubbles, are they really your friends? But anyways, it really is so simple to set up. Just install the OpenBubbles app from the Play Store, and then open up any MacBook. On your Mac, what you need to do is go to this website, and I'll leave it in the description. Then you're going to want to click self-host. And I know it says self-host, but you don't have to have anything running on your Mac. We're just getting its hardware ID. Then you would click on this link to download the QR code generator. And then once you unzip that and you open it up on your Mac, you'll be able to see a QR code of your Mac's hardware ID, which you will then scan on your phone. Okay, so this is what OpenBubbles looks like when you first open the app. And then when you click next, it's going to ask for some permissions that you would need, like notifications and contacts. So I'm just going to enable all that right now. Now once we reach this page, we're going to click on self-hosted. Now they do have a hosted version where you use one of their Mac devices, and I think the hosted version is also paid. And just to clarify again, whether you use your own Mac or somebody else's MacBook, it doesn't actually communicate with their MacBook to send iMessages. Your phone will directly send iMessages to Apple servers. So don't worry about whatever Mac you're using having access to any of your messages or anything like that. The Mac you're using doesn't even have to be signed into the same Apple ID. Anyways, I'm just going to click self-hosted and then scan the QR code. If you're on PC, you're going to have to enter a code which you can get by clicking this copy activation button on your MacBook. After you scanned your QR code or you entered in the activation code, you should see your MacBook here. So I'm going to click use this device. And now I'm going to sign into my Apple ID like normal. And if you do have 2FA, you can also send it to your phone number instead of accessing an Apple device. I'm just going to quickly enter in this 2FA code. Now you should be able to use your email for iMessaging, but using your phone number for messaging is a little bit trickier. And I'll get into that later, but if you want to skip to that, you can just click on the chapters and skip to that section. Right now, I'm just going to show you some of the features that this app has. If you're familiar with blue bubbles, it will look exactly the same since I mentioned this is a fork of blue bubbles, but open bubbles has a lot more features. If you click on the three dots, you should see the map, which is the find my app. Basically, you can see all of your devices that are tied to your account and you can also see your friends locations as well. Then if you click on the three dots again, if you go to video calls, here is where you can start your own video calls with FaceTime. And if you ever receive any video calls, you'll also receive a notification on your phone as well. The FaceTime feature for me doesn't really work too well. Other people can see my camera fine, but on my Android phone, it doesn't display well. But you might have a different experience with that. I think this FaceTime feature is still in beta, but it still works nevertheless. To play Game Pigeon games on your Android phone, you're going to need to download the Open Pigeon app from the Play Store, and I'll leave a link in the description. Then when you click this plus, you should see the Open Pigeon section over here, and then you'll see all the games that are currently supported by Open Pigeon. Now it's not all of the games, but it is most of the popular games, and they do look a little different because they did make the designs themselves, but you can't be too mad about the design because they actually made a working implementation of Game Pigeon on Android, and it works really well. And this is what it looks like when you're inside of a game, it works completely fine. If you do want the iOS emojis as well, that is there as a font. If you click on the three dots and then settings, and then you click on the appearance settings which is near the top. If you scroll down you should see the download iOS emoji font button. There are a lot of settings that OpenBubbles has to explore, and if you go through these you can change a lot of stuff and customize a lot of stuff about this app as well. I'm not going to go through all of them, but they are all here. At the moment, if you want to use your phone number with iMessages, you are going to have to have a spare iPhone. This will be an iPhone that's just on at all times and connected to the internet, but with airplane mode on. 
It's really easy to do this if your iPhone supports eSIM, but you can also do this with the old SIM if you have one as well. The reason why eSIM is easier is because you can activate your eSIM on your phone at any time on your iPhone, and it'll register to your Apple ID. And then after you turn on airplane mode and keep your Wi-Fi on, you can set up eSIM on your Android phone again, and your iPhone won't even realize that eSIM isn't active anymore, but it will still link it to iMessages. There is a whole guide to getting your phone number to work with open bubbles and blue bubbles. I'll leave a link to that guide in the description. But anyways, after your phone number is registered to iMessages, you will be able to text with your phone number using open bubbles on your Android phone. Anyways, that is how you install and set up open bubbles on your devices. If this worked for you, please leave a like and subscribe. And if you run into any issues while setting this up, please leave them down in the comments below and I'll try to respond as fast as possible. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next video.